Hey, how's it, James? Warren here from Silicon TV. Hope all is well. Um, what I've done is so far, this is just a short video. Um, people normally take the plenum off and then they take these trumpets off to put all these trumpets on. But uh, as you can see, these trumpets are, are hollow. Gives you a brilliant sound, I can say. But from my point of view, is what do you do to protect your vehicle's engine um, with regards to dirt and shit going in here? So, what I've done so far is um, well, I'm driving open throttles for the last 12 years. Nothing seriously happened to the engine whatsoever. But what I've done so far is I've considered going back OEM, uh, putting the plenum back on and uh, putting the normal air filter, air box and everything that's on the car put it back on but then I'm gonna I'm gonna lose on performance if I can say that way because I'm running management on this year engine this is the reason why I'm been running open throttles for the last 12 years nothing happened to the engine, no bearing knocks <laughs> I don't know why people say they get bearing knocks with the 20 valve I had this standard engine for the last 17 years while I had the car. Yes, this car is 17 years old. I'm the second owner of this car. This is a short video. What I've done so far, I've taken off the rubber trumpets that's standard with these black top 20 valves and uh, running the silver throttles or silver velocity stack or trumpets like they call it on this engine for the last uh, 17 years or 12 years. But now I'm going to add these filters onto the end between the throttle body and the basically, basically the throttle body and the trumpet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit these in between the velocity stack and the throttle body. So it will basically sit like this to cover all shit flying into your throttle body for the majority of the time. All the stuff that's bigger than these holes will be stopped like a leaf or whatever you have that's going up underneath your engine bay catch it up underneath the engine bay and it goes into your your trumpet bigger than these holes it'll fit yes you can fit mesh it's uh, smaller than these to cover smaller the smaller uh, particles from going into your engine but i think this is really okay not restrictive on air and it should be fine so let me get down to it. I'll, get, I'll show you guys when I'm done. On how it looks when it's fitted on the trumpet. Shot. Cool, so I've taken the liberty in loosening the screws on the throttle body. Um, what I've done so far is I've just loosened up the screws, loosened up the four screws at the back. So I'm just going to take these screws out and then I'm going to slide those screws um, or those filters between the throttle body and the trumpet. Let's get that done. Um, an old problem that I had <laughs> came back. Um, this was this is basically part of my throttle body. Let me show you. So this basically is part of the throttle body on the bottom side um, of the throttle body. This happened like fucking seven years ago. Um, and I just basically cleaned it and put it back on with plenty of steel because this is aluminium. So I'm going to go through that same process, fixing it and then putting the filter um, like I'm supposed to back onto the car. Let's get this done. Right, cool guys. Um, so I've done a I've done little, um, like I've shown you, um, the throttle body broke. The throttle body housing with the trumpet fits on that broke off so it had a obviously that problem was for years already um, where i previously used um, prickly steel 
aluminium plated steel to, to fasten the housing. Well, I don't have plated steel right now. <laughs> and uh, when a person do these things, well, they normally don't show the shit, or oh, sorry my language, the stuff that you go through. <laughs> I don't want to get demonetized. Um, I haven't been monetized anyway. So, um, well, you normally, the people normally don't show the, the stuff they go through. Um, what I've done so far is I've fixed the truffle housing with the trumpet fits on. Um, and this time around, due to the fact with me not having um, pretty steel, because I know pretty steel is uh, high temperature and uh, strong, basically the strength is quite strong to, to actually adhere to the vibrations and so forth. I've used this time around. I've tried my luck. It says all weather adhesive. Um, they say it's uh, good for, for vibrations and so forth. Unaffected by temperature higher than 100. And also um, last long. I've used, uh, everybody knows that. They call it a stick like, uh, stick -like shirt. So, call it stick like shirt. It's right on you. I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. Um, so it's like I'm saying I don't want to be, but you guys do see the project, stick like shit. So let's carry on with uh, the filters. So. is still sitting fastened on the with the call it stick like shit so I will take a look tomorrow let's set what's going on other than that I will do the uh, can I say correctly steel method but this is basically how the throttles look on the inside now so basically that's number four that's number three that's number two and that's number one. So as you can see, all throttle filters are gonna keep all the unnecessary stuff out of the engine. 